Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play Suspicious Minds as recorded by Elvis on guitar. Now this is an incredible song, and in case you missed it, I did already post a lesson on this song, but in that video I showed you a way of playing it with a capo, and I definitely think it makes the first part a little bit easier to play, but in this video I wanted to show you how I play it without a capo, as well and give you more of an updated lesson here. So let's get straight into it. The opening riff is this really cool part based off of a G major. Here's how I play it. So I'm using this G bar chord here and I'm playing the third fret of the low E then five, five, four, and three, three if you wanna bar now what I do is I actually use a thumb pick, and so I'm playing the sixth string there with my thumb pick, then I play the fifth string, and then I do a little pinch here on the fourth and third strings with my index and my middle finger, so. And then I come back to the fifth string, so one and two and. Then I move up. So this little riff, I'm hammering from five to seven on the fifth string, and then play that double stop there, five and five, back to seven, and then go back to the fifth fret. So it's, and I let them ring over, and then pluck the fifth fret of the fifth string. So that's it, that's the riff, so. We're just playing off of that shape there for our G chord. So that's the opening riff, and I'm gonna walk you through the rest of this song, but before we do, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. Let me ask you, do you ever struggle getting your guitar in tune without a tuner? I know I did for way too long until I created this method, just a simple tuning method that nobody's using out there. And this basically helped me fix my tuning problems forever. And I wanna share with you this method. I put together just a simple PDF. It's got five steps written out. And once you start applying those steps, your ear's gonna get better and you're gonna be able to grab a guitar and get it in tune right away. So I wanna give this to you completely for free. Just just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning and you can download it right there as my gift to you and always get your guitar right in tune. All right, so from there, we're gonna take this riff and we're gonna move it around. So that's the riff based on G. And just a side note, when I do that hammer on, sometimes I use my pinky. That just feels more comfortable. But when I get up higher, I use the ring finger, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So here we're going on the G chord. We do it twice for the verse, and then we go up. We play the same riff, but base it off the four chord. So we're gonna start that figure on the eighth fret here. This is eight, 10, 10, nine for our C shape. Then hammer 10 to 12. Then 10, 12, 10, 10. So. Then we bring it up two frets from there. So if this is C, we're gonna bring it up to D and go. So that's 10, 12, 12, 11. Then drop it down to C. Then back home to G. That's the verse progression. Then it goes around again. Caught in the trap. Now the second time after we've repeated back that verse progression, we get out of it with this walk down. We go D, C, B minor, D. So this is D, 
keys, same as before, C, it's the same chord. Then here we drop it down to the seventh fret, but we take off that middle finger and make it minor. Then we go back up to D. So it's one, two, three, four, two beats on each chord. And a lot of times in those sections, I'll just play eighth notes. One and two and three. So here's the entire verse. This will be the second time going into that progression. All right, next we go into the chorus and the first four bars go like this. So here I'm starting on the C chord here at the 8th fret, 8, 10, 10, 9. And each chord for the first part is going to last one bar. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we'll take it down to G, 2, 3, 4 at the 3rd fret. Then we'll go up to B minor at the 7th fret. Then we have two chords per bar. We're going to go C, D, so that's the 8th fret to the 10th fret. So, so far, from there we go to an E minor chord, and this is going to be at the 7th fret, starting though on the 5th string. Seven, nine. Eight, seven, then up to B minor, then C, D, and then we're back to the figure back on the one chord G. So here's the entire chorus played as one piece. Three, four, C, G, B minor, C. minor, C, D, and back to the figure. All right, so everything repeats again. We've got all familiar material at that point. Now the second time, there is a variation, and I love this part because the song kind of takes a, a, a turn to a new section, to the bridge section, and we actually go to a 6-8 time signature. So the way it works is we're, we're coming out of the chorus, and instead of going to D, that last chord, and then going back to G, what we do is we're on the C, and we go to a 6-8 time signature. So here, what I did was I was on the C, we drop it down one fret. This is 7-9-7-9-7-7. Seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, seven. It's a B7 sus4 chord. And then we, we bring that pinky down one fret. So that ninth fret goes down to eight to just become a B7 chord. Then here is where we hit this E minor next. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we go to a six, eight time signature. So before we were in four, four, one and two and three and a four and one and two and. Now we're gonna count it one, two, three, four, five, six. A one, two, three, four, five, six. B minor. C, D, and then it resets E minor, B minor, C, D, two, three, four, five, then G, C, G. Then we get out of it, we go back to a 4-4 four, four time signature. We play a D chord and we go one, two, and we go back to our main progression, basically the verse again using that guitar figure. 
So practice those sections, and then when you're ready, try and play it along with the recording. It's such a great track, and this is so much fun to just put on the song and jam along. So I hope these chords help you out. Take it slow, rewind the video, go over any parts that are unclear, and remember that as you're putting this all together, one of the most important things to keep in mind is you wanna make sure your guitar is in tune. So grab my five step secret tuning method guide at the first link down below. This is the exact system that I use for tuning up and once I learned this, it just gave me so much more confidence in my playing and I was able to just be maybe at a friend's house or whatever and they're like, hey, can you tune my guitar? And I can get it right in tune for them. So I wanna share that with you. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning. It's completely for free as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And if you enjoyed this video, watch this one next.